Hi everybody, welcome back to this video. In this video, I am going to show how to split comma separated string into an array format. So let's begin. So before we show how to achieve this, let us understand where we need to split a comma separate string into an array. For example, you are receiving multiple email IDs from the source system as a comma separated string. But these are the different values. Before you send it to your target system, you need to convert these email IDs, a single string into an array, and then only push to the target system. For example, you have a single field which is coming, let's say email, abc at techsupper.com and xyz dot at techsupper.com. So this is a single string which you are receiving, but here we have multiple emails separated by a comma and you send it to the target system, but target system accepts array of emails. So here you can convert, you need to convert this email as an array. So let's look at this, how this can be achieved in integration. So here, let's click on a create button and again, choose the app driven orchestration and let's say comma separated string into array. S-E-P-E-R-A-T separated, right? And create. So here, let's use your Oracle REST connection and let's say convert, convert, next, again, give a convert and choose verb as a post and here configure a request payload for this endpoint and configure this endpoint to receive the response. So here I will choose a JSON sample and I will choose a inline and let me give a like this email. Okay, that's it. Okay, but the response will be like this. But the response will be like this. Okay, okay. What happened to this? Okay, so this is the correct format. I added an extra, extra curly braces here. That's fine. Okay, and next, and then finish. So here, okay, let's open this mapper, the response mapper, and here you will see what I'm going to do here. So here is the emails, and here is my email, right? So what I'm going to do, I am going to use a accessibility function here, first of all, and use this and here use the for each. So I will put this for each on top of it. So you have to create a target node here and then put this for each here. Okay. And then put this here, okay? Now, there's a function, there's a function called create not set, create not set, create, create not set, where it is, okay? Create node set from a string. So this create a node set based on the specified string. It creates a node set based on the specified string. So this is how this works. Create node set from delimited string. This is the function name, which takes Q name as a string. Delimiter string as string, as a string, meaning the email as a string, and then delimiter. Okay, so I will drop that function Let me go here and, okay, so here for each, 
So I will drop this function here. I will put the function here like this. Let me do this. Let me copy it and put that function here. Or a ext create node set from delimited string. And then this is your namespace. Okay, you can give ABC anything. And this here you need to put this guy. Okay. Right. And then what you need to do, you only need like this dot. So here under for each, I am using this function called create not set from delimited string, which take three arguments as a Q name. Okay. And then the delimiter string, which is my emails, right? And then the delimiter. So it will create multiple email not set based on this delimiter comma, which will be there in the email field. Now you validate it and see if that is fine or not. That's fine. You can also see in your designer. Let's go back and enable the business identifier and let's test this integration. So this is a very simple. So you have to use this create not set in twice string. So create not set from a string function. Create not set from delimiter delimited string. So this is the function that we have used and let's look at this is working or not. Let it be activated. Okay, it's taking a little time. Okay, and let's test it now. Run and then go to the body and let's enter an email. Let's say xyz at techsupper.com and let's say abc at techsupper.com and let's say ankur at techsupper.com. So we have added three email address as a comma separated and let's run. And let's see what happens. You see, email, okay. So this is an array which has been created. So this is a different array which has been created. You can create multiple email not set as well. But here you see, this has created as an array. So this is how you can convert your string, comma separate string, in an array field. That's all about this, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.